whilst I'm sitting here at the traffic lights, of course they go green now, whilst I'm in the car, I thought I would intro today's vlog because I didn't get to do my usual like sit down in my living room intro that I like to normally do because I'm running a little bit late. Don't really know how I managed to run late. So this morning I am going to see my friend G. She is my friend and of many years and also my tattooist. So I'm going to see her and we're gonna just kind of work on some of the things we've already been working on I think and then do some new stuff. My voice is going really wobbly in this car. But yeah so very excited to see her this morning. It's a really really nice day. I am like living for the weather today. I've been feeling so crappy recently and I'm convinced it's just because we've had like this layer of fog and I hate it. It makes me feel so sad. Yeah, much improved mood today. Catching me on a good day. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. I might run some other errands this afternoon. I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of one of those quieter days. So I'm like, I actually have the chance to get a lot of things done today. It doesn't happen often. Will I do them? We'll find out. But yeah, first stop, G. You are the queen, <laughs> queen of business cards. Oh my god, I've just spoiled it. <laughs> Have a piece of my cat. Come to the tattoo convention. Is it in Bright the yeah, Brighton one? one? Brighton Tattoo Convention. Get one of these off G. Put it in your wallet. Just stare at him and pretend he's your cat. <laughs> Beautiful. <People> will. <laughs> can I have this? Yes, oh, I love it. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm gonna put his Instagram on screen. <laughs> I'm wrapped up in cling film. I don't know if you can hear me rustling. So I won't show you my new tattoos today, but just know that I, there are many. <laughs> Your girl is currently cooking. Look, mm. food. I've eaten a pack of Cadbury's buttons this afternoon. So I thought it was time to make myself something that involved vegetables. Um, and I'm about to watch Abducted in Plain Sight on Netflix, which everyone's been talking about. I watched the Ted Bundy tapes kind of over the past week. And that was really good, really interesting. So I'm excited to watch this one. I feel like there's been a big jump since my last weekly vlog. So I thought I'd catch you up. The last week I was in London with Kate. And then so far this week, I did an overnight stay with GHD earlier in the week. And what did I do yesterday? I was in the office yesterday. And office days are very dull and I don't get to talk to you guys a lot. So that is where I've been the past couple of weeks. Hopefully weekly vlogs will resume now. So yeah, that is my little daily update. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix now. Bye bye. this outfit yeah yeah finally she's finally lost it good morning everybody so it is not it's not even morning anymore it's afternoon this is the first time i've probably picked up the camera going well it is friday <laughs> i'm very happy it's friday this morning lois and i have been shooting do you want to say hi <laughs> i didn't think you'd want to actually like Say hi. Shout. <laughs> Shouting's fine. So yeah, we've been shooting this morning. I've worn about 50 different outfits, including this bright pink coat. Um, so yeah, that's been fun. And now I'm going to get my nails done because the growth 
is real. So yeah, that is what I am doing this Friday lunchtime. I'm wearing this outfit and I can't decide if I love it or I look like my dad in the 90s. I don't even want to do a poll in the comments asking. I just don't really want to know. Yeah, I always like it in real life and then I go to photograph it and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, but this uh, jacket is from Pretty Little Thing, I think. Or Misguided, one of the two. I always get the two confused and I always do orders around the same time. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I think this is Pretty Little Thing and jeans are... Zara, they're quite old. I'll try and link some that are similar. And then boots, army Zara boots. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And then I've got my Prada backpack on. Such a cute little backpack, I just love it so much. And then my earrings are my ASOS little hoops, wake opal earrings, and then the rest is Maria Tash. Um, and same on the other side, except for this one. Yeah, we have a little moon there. There we go so hard to vlog your ear there we go better so yeah i will see you in a little bit when i have fresh nails i'm either gonna go for matte pink or matte black can't decide it's valentine's day i feel like i should go for pink but <laughs> my soul says matte black my baby hairs. I am finally ready to go to the gym. Success. Honestly, does anyone else have the baby hair problem? Because it just drives me mad. Wish my eyebrows had this much extra hair. Be goals. Gym OOTD. Really, really groundbreaking, this one. On all my outfits. So, I'm wearing this Zara hoodie. Uh, I don't know if you've seen me, you will have seen me wear this a lot, I think around October. I wore this religiously I freaking love it the reason I love it so much is because it is quite light it's not got a ton of lining to it it is like a very cheap hoodie I think it was maybe less than 20 pounds but the reason I love it so much apart from the fact that it's quite light and you can layer it is the uh, neckline on it is huge so when I've just done my hair and I don't want to ruin it because there is so much hairspray in this right now I don't want to put any more in it it doesn't disturb my hair so it means I can take it on and off in the gym without looking a mess. See I've got my H&M leggings, had these for years, don't think they make them anymore but they are fab. And then my Nike trainers, these ones are great, love them so much. And then I've just got my backpack. This bag's great because I can fit a water bottle in it whereas most of my bags, no. Or they're just really fancy and not gym appropriate. So this one's kind of the best of both worlds, it's kind of fancy but also appropriate for the gym, holds a water bottle, very happy. I'm not putting a coat on, I refuse. It's that time of year, we got to this point last year where I just started refusing to wear coats because I was, in my head it's spring. <laughs> we get past January and I'm like, I shouldn't have to wear a coat anymore. But yeah, I love this hoodie. If I ever make like bossy gym hoodies, the neckline will be like this, it's very practical. Getting asked a lot at the moment about bossy stuff and when your stuff is coming out. Soon, soon, springtime. It's actually, I feel like we forget because the likes of high street fashion stores produce things so quickly 
how long it actually does take to make clothing so yeah it's taking a little while but gonna basically take a month longer than we originally planned because there are some tweaks being made to the next line which is gonna make it hopefully amazing i'm so excited but yeah it is uh it's taking a little bit longer but yeah in other news i just got this in my po box it's fancy it's a perfume from cartier it smells like money i sprayed it on when i was going through my po box it's just great it smells it smells fancy okay let's go to the gym i'm procrastinating massively If anyone's wondering, this is where I've been for hours. So I'm going out for drinks with Danny after my mammoth filming session, which is mostly, to be honest, me singing for a good two hours. Um, there's a little bit of makeup in there as well. So yeah, I have extreme ponytail in. I'm quite impressed with my own handiwork, if I'm honest. It's not, ain't too shabby. Not too shabby for Rachel. Not too shabby for Rachel. So uh, yeah, outfit of the evening. My pretty little thing jacket. This uh, body, so it's like a holy attire shebang, uh, which is from Bershka. And then some tracksuit bottoms. You can't really, hang on, let me turn my light on. Uh, okay, oh God, that's so bright. Uh, but yeah, tracksuit bottoms, which are from ASOS, I believe. I don't really know what pair of tracksuit bottoms they would be. If I were to link them, I'll try and find some that are similar, or they might be the same, I don't know. Valentino boots, I'm gonna wear that Chanel bag that's there on the floor, which it shouldn't be on the floor, I know. So it's kind of like respectable drinks outfit, and then I can throw this off if we actually end up going out. I have done it. I've got the everything outfit. So yeah, and I can get away with the heels on a daily basis because I'm small, so no one really notices I'm even wearing them. Gold, love them. Yeah, quite happy with this. It's like bin bag chic. Yeah. If you want to see this makeup look, it should be up by the time this vlog goes up, I reckon. It's not really doing it justice in this light, but it's cute. It's quite cute. It's very late. I've just got in. Took my ponytail out, and now I have short ponytail. <laughs> I want my hair back. I'm gonna just have really long extensions forever. Just a little. Good night. <laughs> Can't even cover my camera properly. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Coming at to you from my bathroom today. I don't have a lot of time to spare this morning, so. I am gonna talk to you very quickly while studying my makeup. So I went out last night, as you will have seen in the vlog footage, I didn't actually vlog whilst I was out, but and that was fun, um, nothing crazy, but I'm a little bit tired now. Mostly just like that kind of tired where you've slept a lot and you're not actually tired, like you've had enough sleep, but you're just feeling a bit like, yeah. where am I? What year is it? That kind of vibe. So yeah, this morning I am going for lunch or this morning <laughs> this afternoon it's basically afternoon now i am going for lunch with my friend lauren you will have seen in the vlogs i love her she is one of my oldest oldest friends i've known her since i was like eight i think i originally met her because i passed out in the street and her mum and her stopped to uh check that i was okay she doesn't remember that but i do because i was like really embarrassed that i passed out in the street <laughs> and still to this day don't know why that happened but yeah we're going for lunch we're going for a roast dinner which we haven't done in so long it's one of our favorite things to do on a sunday so i'm very excited for that and yeah i need to potentially run some errands i really want to clean my flat today that is that needs to be on the agenda at some point i want to do the bathroom yeah so that's what i'm doing this morning, I still have glitter all over my face from last night. I so regret that. It's literally everywhere. Although I miss all the hair. I miss the pony, like the extra long ponytail. I'm tempted to stick it back in. But I feel like that's a bit over the top for lunch. <laughs> Skin is 
isn't like oh, I sitting see. properly. <laughs> Like, do you ever feel like it just doesn't pop in properly? I just feel like no. my eye skin isn't going in. Maybe it's because my hair. Is it eyelids? Yeah, like my, my eyelids. the skin on my eyelids. Yeah. The eyelids. <laughs> it's just, it's it's just, just not, not, it's not like folding back in properly when I open my eyes. It's not, I'm not like wet enough. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people use eye drops when they're like. But it's not my eye. It's not my actual eye though. But it is eyeballs. because it's, it's stopping your eyelid from functioning. Oh, well that feels very strange. But I can't tell if it's partly because my hair's scraped back to so tight. I mean, maybe. Is that not helping? Really, I've never suffered with the problem that you're talking about. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, it's not really normal for me. I'm very, I feel very weird. But it's just not closing. So it's like, you know when you like, your eye, say you're looking down and then you look back up, so that skin's gotta go somewhere. Like, doesn't fold back in, it doesn't feel like it's yeah. naturally folding back in. It feels like it's kind of, that guy's definitely just gonna like yeah. walk out. So please don't do that. Why do you wear a suit? It's Sunday. <laughs> like, Why would you wear a suit on a Sunday? Um, it's bad enough we had to get dressed this morning. Yeah, do you know what I mean? um, that's to do with the hydration okay. of your eye. Okay. Yes. I am right. Okay. Certified doctor. Eye doctor. How can I make this? But should I just mist my face when I get in? Yeah. I mean, you don't have any eye drops. Maybe I need to drink more water as well. I think that would probably help. Mainly with brain function too. Brain function. Gasp me. Riveting content will resume. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Never. <laughs> never. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my, it's now twitching. I've just touched yeah, it so much. My eyes now twitching. Not enough water. Too much touching. Not enough water. Water. Good evening, everybody. It is now 10 p.m. We've got quite. A f we've had a bit of a jump. A wee bit of a jump from earlier. So today, Laura and I came back here. We literally just watched the Ted Bundy series properly watch that because I started watching it with her and then I started also kind of watching it with Kate and then I think I also started watching it with Danny and I never really watched the whole thing all the way through so we just kind of watched the whole thing all the way through it was so good so so good although I did then get quite scared when I wanted to go to the gym past 7 30 I was like am I gonna make it home I text some people and let them know I was going to the gym I actually need to text them and let them know I'm back my family thinks I'm crazy they actually think I'm mad so I've been to the gym I am probably going to do a little bit of a tidy up of my kitchen. There's just a few more bits that need putting away and then I'm all good. And then I'm going to do a quick whiz over my bathroom and I've just been importing some footage for tomorrow. Um, I like to do my Sunday prep. I just, I like to be all like ready for Monday. So I normally kind of sit in bed on a Sunday night, which is probably the most unhealthy thing. But I sit in bed on a Sunday night and just prep everything for Monday. And I love it. I just love it. That is my evening update. I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you guys in the morning when this bit of hair will not be seeing you in the morning. <laughs> this is the bit that's not sticking out. Like the rest of it is hair sprayed. My baby hair is wild. We had to shave a lot of it when we did the tattoo behind my ear. Can't wait for that on this side. Maybe G can shave that off. Um, I will show you my tattoos tomorrow morning. Actually, I'm gonna do the kind of end of the vlog update, I think, cause I'm gonna start vlogging again for next week. So I will give you my tattoo update in the morning. Good night. I swear to God, I vlog myself from the worst angles. Like, why do I do this? Why am I not like this? Why am I not like, oh yeah, look cute. Night. That smiley face has killed me. He's so cute. <laughs>
everybody it is monday had a really productive monday so far i have filmed today's video uh which is like day night outfits or night out outfits if you want to be cute but not girly that type of thing but it's probably one of my favorite outfit videos i've ever styled i feel like i say that after most of them but yeah so I had a really productive morning i thought i'd just sit down and round up this vlog show you the tattoos that uh i got with g earlier in was that earlier in the week was that last week i don't even know i don't know i feel like i've been filming this weekly vlog for a really really long time and by the time this goes up i think it will actually be even longer but yeah tattoos so i got a few new tattoos when i was with g earlier this week and the first one which i feel like you will have seen the most is this kind of isn't 100% finished but I've got the bare bones of it down so that I can decide where I want to go from here I love this bit it's so beautiful so it twists around and then it's starting to come up onto my hand but I can't decide quite where I want to go with that yet so we've kind of faded it out around here is a lot more dot work I don't know if you can see it too well but there's a picture on her um instagram so i will link to her instagram if you want to go check her out she is bloody lovely it's very handy having one of your oldest friends be a tattoo artist i knew her before she did tattoos but people was like did you meet because of this because of the because of instagram it's like no we met on tumblr when we were 15 and had no idea what we were doing with our lives so yeah that is the first one second one is i got a new one on my finger it's a little star I love this. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's held really well as well. I'm actually very impressed with it. I think it's held better than my rose and even G said that the rose held really well as well. Apparently my skin just holds ink quite nicely. Uh, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. So cute. So cute. So yeah, that is number two. And then I also got uh it's really hard to show I've got roman numerals under my arm yeah i really like it i think this one is my favorite i'm very happy with it but yeah that is my tattoo roundup i did show you the yeah i showed you the ones i got last time as well i'll link to that if you didn't see that vlog yeah basically it's been a lot of tattoos over the past month i don't think there's anything else i need to update you on right now so i am gonna go edit all of the videos there's a lot that I've got to get done today. So yeah, I hope you're all having a really lovely day and you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.